Welcome to CSA Guru. In this session, we will discuss about pre-test and post-test loops. So, the looping concepts already we have discussed in our previous video. So, loops are nothing but repeated block of code number of times. That is, when the loop control expression is evaluated to true means, that is, the block of code will execute number of times until the loop control expression is evaluated to false. So, whenever the loop control expression is evaluated to true, the block of code will execute one time. After executing the block of code, again the loop control expression will be evaluated. So, again if it is tested to true means the block of code will execute one more time. Likewise, this process will repeat until the loop control expression is evaluated to false. So, when the loop control expression is evaluated to false means the loop will terminate. So, that is nothing but the looping statements. So, this already we have discussed. In C programming language, if you are considering, based on the evaluation of the loop control expression, there are two categories of loops. So, every iteration, the loop control expression will be tested. But, the testing will happen either before executing the block of code or after executing the block of code. Based on that, there are two types of looping constructs. One is pre-test loop and another one is post-test loop. So, pre-test loop is nothing but as the name implies, pre means the loop control expression will be tested before executing the body of the loop. So, every time the expression will be tested and if it is true only, the body of the loop will execute. And first itself, it will test the loop control expression. That is pre-test loop. Post-test loop is nothing but by default, body of the loop will execute one time. After execution of the body of the loop, the loop control expression will be tested. And if the condition is evaluated to true means, again one more time, the body of the loop will execute. Since the loop control expression is tested after executing the body of the loop once, this kind of loop is called post-test loop. So now we will discuss each one in detail. So pre-test loop is nothing but first the loop control expression will be tested, then the body of the loop will execute. So in each iteration, the loop control expression will be tested first. And if the condition is true means then the body of the loop will execute. If the condition is false means the loop will terminate without executing the body of the loop. That is first itself if the control expression is evaluated to false means the body of the loop will not execute at all. So this is nothing but pre-test loop. So here this is the flowchart for pre-test loop. So here if you are considering the variable will be initialized and the loop expression will be specified. So here it will evaluate the loop expression. So based on the result of this loop expression, it will decide whether to execute the body of the loop or not. If the loop control expression is evaluated to true means the body of the loop will execute once. After executing the body of the loop, the variable value will get updated, either incremented or decremented. So, based on that value, again the loop control expression will be tested. If the expression is evaluated to true means, one more time the body of the loop will execute. And after execution, again the variable will be updated, either incrementing or decrementing the variable value. Then the loop control expression will be tested with the updated value of the variable i. And if the condition is evaluated to true, again one more time body of the loop will execute. Likewise, this process will continue. That is, every time first itself the expression will be tested. And if the expression is true only, body of the loop will execute. Suppose at any time, if the expression is evaluated to false means, the body of the loop will not execute. Control will transfer to the next statements in the C program. It will skip this body of loop. Of course, if the first time itself, if the loop expression is evaluated to false means, body of the loop will not at all execute even one time. Control will transfer to the next statements in the C code. So this is nothing but the pre-test loop. 
So pretest is nothing but every time, every single iteration, body of the loop will be tested first. Only when the expression is evaluated to true means the body of the loop will execute. And this pretest loop is also called top testing or entry controlled loop. That is, since the loop expression is tested first itself, that is in the top itself, expression will be evaluated. So it is called top testing loop. And only if the condition is evaluated to true only, the body of the loop is allowed to execute. So here entry is also restricted based on the loop expression. So the pretest loop is also called entry controlled loop. And here the body of the loop can be executed zero or more time. So here is zero in the sense when the first iteration itself, the loop expression is evaluated to false means the body of the loop will not execute at all. So body of the loop can be executed zero, that is the minimum, or more times. An example if you are considering for loop, while loop. So for loop if you are considering for the variable value we need to initialize. Next we need to check the variable value that is the loop control expression. Next we need to update the variable value. And then if the condition is evaluated to true then only the body of the loop will execute. So this is the syntax for for loop. So this is variable initialization. This is loop control expression. This is updating the variable value in each iteration. So first time it will evaluate the loop control expression and here n value should be mentioned. So i value initialized to 0. i will be taken 0 and n value should be given by the programmer. And here the loop expression will be evaluated. If the condition is true, the body of the loop will execute one time. After execution, i value will get incremented by 1. Then again the next iteration with the updated i value, it will check the loop control expression. And if the condition is true, again the body of the loop will execute. So this is nothing but the for loop expression. And if you are considering the syntax for while loop, first we need to initialize the variable value. Then using the keyword while, check the loop control expression. And if the expression is evaluated to true means the body of the loop will execute once. And at the end of the body of the loop, the variable value will get updated. Next iteration, with the updated value of i, it will check the loop control expression. And if the condition is evaluated to true means one more time the body of the loop will execute. And the process continues until the loop control expression fails. So when the loop control expression is evaluated to false means it will skip this body of the loop control will go to next statements in the sequel. Since both for loop and while loop will test the loop control expression first itself it comes under the category pretest loop and this is also called top testing or entry control loops. Next is post test loop. In post test loop if you are considering the body of the loop by default it will execute first. So first time itself the body of the loop will execute. Then only it will check the loop control expression. So after executing the body of the loop once the loop control expression will be tested. And if the control expression is evaluated to true means one more time the body of the loop will execute. And after execution of the body of the loop Again, the loop control expression will be tested. And if again if the condition is evaluated to true, the body of the loop will execute. Suppose if the loop expression is evaluated to false means the loop will exit and control will transfer to the next statements in the C code. And if you are considering here, the loop expression is tested at the bottom of the loop. In pre-test loop, the loop expression will be tested at the top of the loop and after testing only body of the loop will execute. But here in post-test loop, the loop control expression will be tested after executing the body of the loop once. So post-test loop is also called bottom testing or exit controlled loop that is it will check for the exit condition only. When the loop expression is evaluated to false, it will exit here. 
it will exit the loop here. So this post test loop is also called exit control loop. And if you are considering here, body of the loop will execute first. And then only the condition will be evaluated. That is the loop expression will be evaluated. So the body of the loop by default it will execute one time. Whether the condition is true or false. By default the body of the loop will execute one time. And based on the loop expression. If it is evaluated to true it will execute one more time. So, the body of the loop in post test loop will execute at least one or more time. And the example for post test loop is do while loop. So, the syntax for do while loop, if you are considering, first we need to initialize the variable value. Then use the keyword do and execute the body of the loop. At the end of the body of the loop, update the variable value. And along with this curly brace only without any gap here, continue the keyword while and then specify the loop control expression. And it should end with the semicolon. This is the syntax rule for do while loop. So here by default body of the loop will execute once. And then variable value will get updated. With the updated variable value, the loop control expression will be tested. And if the condition is evaluated to true, one more time body of the loop will execute. And if the condition is evaluated to false, it will exit. So this is nothing but the do while loop. And this comes under the category post test loop. Thank you for watching this video.